talk about standard iron sights, all right, and see, uh, I know a lot of people shoot pistols and a lot of people have uh, have issues with shooting low left and, and, and left and, and, you know, there's more left out there shooters than there are right hand shooters, you know, right, right guys that shoot to the right. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about iron sights and how they shoot a little bit, but a lot of times it's easier to correct the shooter than it is the, uh, than the sights on those guns. Okay. All right. You shoot that gun well? Uh, not very well, no. All right, well, load it up, and let's try to do the same thing Zeke just did, but with your pistol this time, all right? Now, I'm assuming you know how to, uh, I'm going to assume, but do you know how to shoot to reset? Yes. Okay, I want you to shoot to reset like you normally probably would if you shoot that way. Okay. And shoot three rounds, just like he did, nice okay. and comfortable. Make sure you call your shots. Okay. If all of a sudden you feel you yanked one, go, no, we're not going to call that one, you know. Okay. We're, we're going to, uh, we're, so we're going to shoot a fourth one, all right? But gotcha. um, aim at one of those red dots, yeah. and nice and slow and steady. Can we go top left? Sure. All right. Go on high. I would I would dare say your second shot you yanked it a little bit and pulled it low. Yeah. Okay. You probably felt it. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Yeah. But, but obviously, felt your other shots were all relatively right in there. Right. And they 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 seem to be strung up and down. They're not pulled left to the right or anything like that. So what that's going to tell me is you don't have a windage problem on that gun at all. All right. Your elevation, more than likely, it's probably the shooter. Right. All right. And it's just it's 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 the gun doing doing this up and down. All right. It, it's hard to hold a pistol. You know, out in front of you as smooth as you possibly can right. while you're manipulating that trigger. I know. Small I know that. Is Plus, a small gun makes it a little harder to shoot. All right. But when it comes to adjusting pistol si uh, uh, sights on pistols, you really don't have a lot of elevation adjustment. Uh, elevation adjustment, I should say, on uh, on pistols at all. The only way you can typically uh, the only way that you can typically change elevation on pistols, all right, is by changing the height. Of the front sight, sometimes some manufacturers make replacements that you can change the height on, or sometimes they make uh, replacement rears that you can change on, changing the elevation factor. But most of the time, these service pistols like this, or compact pistols, are sighted in for about a 10 yard zero, or, or you know, uh, their point of aim at about 10 yards. How far were we out here? Seven. Seven. Okay. All right. And typically, that being said, from zero to seven, they should shoot almost or zero to ten they should shoot pretty close to point of aim as they get further out all right they're gonna shoot higher so typically at 25 yards a six o'clock hole where you would put top sight kind of at the bottom the six at the center of the target and it would shoot point of aim because it's on upward motion okay that's because the bullet is still on its still on its upward plane correct so with windage the only with, with pistols that have fixed sights like this the only type of adjustment that you have would be a windage. And you would have to pound that if it's not adjustable. Um, uh, you know, typically you have to drift the rear sight. I try to I try to keep people from drifting these rear sights. I try to typically, as an instructor, I try to show them how to shoot the pistol straight. Right. Okay, because it really matters on how they hold it in their hand. But you feel this one's pretty I think this windage. one's, yeah, you, you shot it windage wise, you shot it perfectly fine. I think it's just, you know, you might, you know, just, that's just your, Mechanics. Your mechanics holding the pistol, you know. I mean, uh, uh, you shoot this gun probably quite a bit. And you're comfortable with it. I don't. I don't reckon you could probably shoot that gun better than that. I don't know, you know. Um, the uh, uh, but but when you come down to fixed sights, that's pretty much all you have. All right. If you had adjustable sights, then you have a typically your rear has a full windage and an elevation adjustment. Tons of adjustment on that rear sight. That's what it's made for. But on a service pistol like this, do, uh, they, do uh, they make sights? Place that would be adjustable? Not for this style gun. The is a service pistol as well. It's not it's not a target gun. Right? It comes with the same type sights that are non-adjustable. You only have a rear windage. Glock does offer some different heights in their sights as well, but you typically don't see putting those on their guns because 
they shoot perfect, you know, they shoot a good point of aim just like before. The only guns that they make typically with adjustable sight anymore is the Glock 34. Well, typically, in a defensive situation, they're going to want to pick probably 7 to 10 yards, all right? I, I, I typically will, ze will, will zero it at about 10 yards mm -hmm. because going back to that BZO, that battle sight zero, right. all right? Um, and uh, I can show you that here in just a second. Sure. It's going to be, you know, do I care if I hit bad guy here, here, or here? So I know that the, the, the laser at any specific distance is going to be within that uh, that target that I need to hit. Right. It might be that high or that low. And, and the whole purpose for the for a laser is quick target quick acquisition. Quick target acquisition. I mean, the uh, uh, if, if, you were in a, if you were in a bedroom, you know, sleeping at night, and you had to... Uh, um, you had to reach and pick a gun, a, a gun up quickly. Couldn't bring it to full ready to, to be able to get its sights out. Bad guy was coming through the door, maybe maybe closer than that. Right. And you had to make a quick shot. It's very easy to make a shot from a from a, 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 a non. Your eyes can adjust to seeing that a lot better in the dark. Absolutely. Than, from than a dead finding sleep. A, than finding a front sight. So right. it has its points. I mean, uh, a lot of people. If you don't have night sights. And a lot of people don't use them to their potential, but that's typically what where they you know small. Uh, uh, small spaces and stuff. If you're, you know, you know, up close and behind a right. door, you don't have that ability to extend that arm out. You know, like that, uh, a laser or get it up to sight ready. The laser comes in handy. All right, but typically what I do when I sight them in is I pick the distance that the customer wants. All right, and I move the sight. I use the sights like they're supposed to be used. I I adjust the laser. Okay, so the red dot fits right at the tip of the full sight. When, okay. I, when I'm when I'm aiming uh, when I'm sighting in, so go ahead and sight in on a, on one of those dots. We're gonna see how how much he moves now because this laser really tells. All right. So I want to I want to use your sights, not the red dot, but go ahead and leave it on. But I want you to concentrate on your sights. Okay. All right. So that red dot looks like it's just a tad bit low. All right. Low at, and at, at, a little low and a little left. You know, it could be you just pulling it a little to the left, but typically it's a little low than where your sights would be. Okay. So more than likely, uh, that, uh, um, uh, that dot, all right, let's move, let me come over here. Let, let's move this out to, I'm going to be way off the further out it is because the bullet's still rising and I'm aiming low. Let's move this out to 10 yards. Okay. I want you to do the same thing now. We're All gonna right. figure out where your, where your, your, uh, your laser is sighted in for. Okay. It's probably a little closer to 10 yards. Let's try to talk them into still using their sight. Okay, because it is a battery operated device. All right, we can't always rely on Sights are always going to be there. Use the laser with the sight. Kind of like like calling your shots and kind of you know you're you're you're, you're sighting in on that on those sights. All right, and you know where you are because you didn't yank the trigger and you saw, you saw your hit through your sights. You don't have to pop the gun to see where you hit. Okay? Right. Kind of use your, your your laser in the same conjunction as that. Just you'll see the dot with your sights, but always use your sights. Slow, steady shoot. Good hit. Nice and slow and steady. Well, those were using sights. Is this with lasers this, or sights? This is with this is with sights. Sights. <clears throat> Bottom right. Bottom right. All right. Now shoot the uh, 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 shoot the left uh, bo the bottom left with just the laser. Okay. This is with the laser. test it seems to help him out with the laser. Alright? Uh, 
Did I get a hole in the hole? Yeah, yeah, you shot, you shot two through the same hole. You got two through but, the same hole. But honestly, all right, there's, there's like, like any single sighting device, there's less room for error because there's not two things to line up. You're simply lining up on one red dot, which can help. All right. Being, what if I could have turned the laser off to do the iron stuff? It'd be distracting, probably. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and I, I mean, as a, as a pistol instructor, I can, I can definitely tell you, you can make those same hits with a, uh, uh, with the iron sights just as good. Right. So, uh, you can make fat those faster hits like that, like you did probably with that laser, because your eye is only sighting in on one specific dot rather than two of yeah, front sight. I did, I did find it. Yeah, you I did was them, chasing you, the laser even though I was looking through the. Yeah, you did them about the, the same side. speed too. That was a decent little test. Look at that. But um. Uh, cool. All right. Good That's, information. All right. Thank you again, Godwin. I mean, Sean. No sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs>